Hello everyone, and welcome back to World of Warship Splits with Terry. I am still sort of catching up with what's been going on the last few, a few weeks, and uh, one of the things that I initially missed is the very, very first Italian destroyer that we're seeing in the game. This is the Leone, uh, or Lion in Italian. And now, before we start talking about, well, destroyers really here, I think we have to talk a little bit about a, a class that's not actually represented. Um, and that is the Scout Cruiser class. Now, this isn't the only ship of that kind, and yes, this is technically a Scout Cruiser, although she was officially classified as a destroyer as well. It's a bit like the destroyer leader sort of thing, um, but it's sort of in the middle between destroyers and light cruisers, in such, as such that these things have usually more guns and better armament and are larger than most destroyers, but are not quite uh, large enough to be classified as light cruisers. The French destroyers come to mind, the, the higher tier ones. And um, I think in, on PC there's a German line as well with these sort of, these sort of scout cruisers. So uh, that was definitely a concept that, uh, that existed, but uh, hasn't quite got its own representation. So most of the time you find that these are classified as destroyers. There are a couple, I think the Ochakov, uh, that technically could be almost considered a scout cruiser as well. So it, it does get a little fluent um, in, uh, in, some, in some instances, but most of the time we'll find these actually classified as destroyers, which means that their armor is absolutely dreadful. I mean, that's the same, the same is true for any uh, light cruisers, actually, so it's not a huge difference. But you can't citadel them, so that's, brought, that's probably one thing. Um, and yeah, the Leona was one of the um, exploratory, so a, a scout cruiser, sort of, uh, or a, a scout ship, <laughs> large destroyer, destroyer leader, that sort of thing. The things that made the French somewhat anxious and uh, to a degree also influenced their designs for, for their destroyers. And uh, she didn't have much in terms of action during the Second World War. She was stationed with her sister ships in East Africa. And at the end, when the Italians were pushed out of Africa, she was sent on a suicide mission to the Suez Canal to just you know, bombard some stuff <laughs> just for the, um, just because, and actually run aground there and, and was sunk. So uh, that, that was that. But uh, yeah, it's a premium ship. She, I think she's still in the, I'm not sure if she's in the current Blitz Pass or if it was the last one, I haven't been paying attention. But um, uh, it's interesting because it is the very first Italian destroyer and maybe we'll get an Italian destroyer line and maybe it's going to be similar to what the French are having. So uh, let's see. We don't know, but we'll, let's see what, what this thing can do. Um, the very first thing we're gonna we haven't, don't really have something to compare her with, but let's have a look at the, at the statistics. Now this is obviously fully upgraded, so you're gonna have to take that with um, you know have to take that with a grain of salt. But uh, uh, not very fast that thing. Thirty three knots is is very very pedestrian for even for a destroyer. Uh, the maneuverability is okay. Um, the engines are pretty good. They just the don't this thing doesn't get very uh, doesn't get all that fast. Uh, she does get eight guns, so four twin uh, four twin guns. The reload is on the lengthy side. I think it's eight seconds base reload, but the range with almost nine kilometers is pretty good. Uh, and even though they're just under twenty millimeter, uh, they are doing an an okay amount of damage. So except for the long uh, for the lengthy reload, uh, these are uh, you you do get a lot of guns for a tier six destroyer. Uh, unfortunately, the Terra Traverse speed is, speed is absolutely atrocious, so uh, somebody has to probably hand crank these around to turn them to the other side. Because even with uh, everything I could throw at it, uh, it's, uh, I'm not going to get it across 13 degrees per second. And the, the layout of the turrets is is such that, um, if we look at it where we can actually spot them. Yeah, they're, so they're, they're sitting on these little pedestals here. Uh, in, there's this one in the center, there's one behind the superstructure, there's one, uh, one pointing forward, that, uh, that canopy thing there is in the way, and there's one pointing to the rear. Uh, you, often, you often find that you need to turn them you know, all the way around, so that can get a little bit, can get a little bit tricky with the slow traverse. Uh, torpedoes are very, very interesting. Because she gets four of them, yeah? Four torpedoes, two twin launchers. At least they're center mounted, but yes, we get four torpedoes. Uh, they do have an extremely fast reload though, 34 seconds, and they have a range of over 9 kilometers. I mean, it's not that you can really normally hit stuff at a range of 9 kilometers, but um, it, 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 is, 
it is uh, reasonably useful against things like um, like battleships, you know, that uh, tier six maybe still be sailing in a straight line and you can just drunk some torpedoes into them. And even though you can't actually get a lot of them firing, um, they do a very reasonable amount of damage and uh, they reload pretty quickly. So you can try again if you miss the first time. Uh, the flooding chance isn't great. Uh, the AA is, is is unsurprisingly non-existent, and the surface detection is okay, but not um, uh, not hilariously good as well. So, uh, all in all, an interesting ship. So, you'd think with eight guns, you'd be in a bit of a brawler. <laughs> not really, because the problem is is the the lack of torpedoes, because you can only fire four torpedoes, which means that if you're firing at an enemy destroyer, unless you're on point blank range, you're going to be a relatively hard pressed to actually hit anything because you do need to get an awful lot of torpedoes in and saturate a certain area to re relatively reliably hit a destroyer who's actively trying to avoid them. So with four torpedoes, that is pretty difficult. So, and also the long reload means that, um, you know, it is going to take you a while to, to actually gun them down, which means <sighs> this is actually a ranged ship. And I would recommend, in general, to play this a bit more like a light cruiser. But we're getting ahead of ourselves, so let's have a look at the equipment first. Um, I have the main battery mod 1 in here, and I would thoroughly recommend doing that, because the turret traverse is absolutely atrocious. Uh, the propulsion mod, because it makes sense, and um, the concealment mod. I, I'm actually, I wasn't actually surprised. I thought you didn't get the concealment mod until tier 7, but I, I might be wrong there. Uh, maybe it was tier 6 when you start getting that. Anyway. Uh, using all these, plus uh, the historical camouflage, because I figured, you know, it's a, a mid-tier premium. People might be interested to get the historical camo for that. I don't know if it came with the pass, but uh, that obviously gives you range of, of the everything, uh, better traverse speed and better surface detection, so all good things. And yeah, with that, we get down to the uh, to the 5.4 kilometer uh, detection and uh, to the almost nine kilometer range of the main guns. And obviously the torpedoes have an over nine kilometer range as well. Um, oh, ship skills, I haven't talked about ship skills. What can she do? Nothing surprising here. We get two engine boosts, but the engine boosts twos. And we get uh, two smoke screen, but they also smoke two, so pretty good smoke screens. So you can, you know, smoke yourself up, smoke your team up, uh, sit in there and, um, you know, shoot at things for a little bit. They are, pretty good at, you know, this sort of long range kiting, sailing away things. Like chasing one of these things down in anything that isn't a rapid firing light cruiser it can be a can, can be a bit of a nightmare because they can be at, at nine kilometers and still hit you <laughs> with everything. And they're almost impossible to hit in return. So uh, they can be really, really pesky that way. Uh, Commander, uh, given that we don't really know much about these things yet, uh, I have no idea if this is representative for a potential Italian destroyer line, but uh, we'll just go with what we know so far. So uh, no surprises like standard destroyer setup. Uh, the Mistweaver would be an obvious choice because it extends your smokescreen duration for a little bit. All right. Um, anything else I missed to mention? I think that would be pretty much it. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have a little bit of a look and uh, see how this thing plays. I, I have to say the first games I played, I, I got absolutely wiped. It's like I, I, had, I had games where I just didn't survive longer than a minute. Uh, until, you know, you start realizing how these things work. Because these are meant for long range. Our first battle is going to be Domination on Trident. And we are top tier. We're up against a Zuiho, an Andrea Do double Andrea Doria. Uh, triple Andrea Doria, <laughs> take that back, <laughs> a Budjoni, Nuremberg, and an Eigel. This is a little unfortunate, because um, probably, except for the Zuiho, <laughs> everything is um, a very unpleasant counter <laughs> for what I'm sailing in. <laughs> a very slow destroyer. Uh, the Andrea Dorias have, have semi armor piercing. The Nuremberg and the Budjoni, obviously, and even the Eigel, I think, is, uh, is going to be a bit of an issue. So... Well, um, we, we, we'll we'll see how things how things turn uh, how things turn out. But yeah, we'll, we'll do what we can. Uh, we are spawning on the left side, well, if you're looking at right there. So on the western end of the map, really. And we're gonna head for A cup with uh, the engine boost up. He is actually reasonably quick, but uh, given my luck, I'm gonna be running straight into something like the Eagle or so. 
uh, which is going to be a bit more of an issue. Um, I have a Pensacola though, so provided the Pensacola has the HE loaded, and um, given that he just gave his position away, uh, hopefully uh, that would dis uh, deter any kind of destroyers. Well, we'll see if our if our um, Hermes is is doing any scouting, but uh, it doesn't look like so far. Hermes seems to be relatively unfazed by the fact that there's a bit of a battle going on. So team starts calling out, hey, um, planes, maybe? No, nope. Hermes is repositioning, actually. So he's busy sailing the ship. Fair enough. Uh, and yeah, there's the Eagle, of course. So uh, torpedoes on wide. Let's see where he's going. I have outspotted him, but not by an awful lot. And uh, oh, there's the Nuremberg as well. Oh, great. <laughs> okay, so Eagle comes around this way. So I'm going to drop some torpedoes in his wake. But like I said, there's only four of them. So I don't have an awful lot of hope that I'm actually going to be hitting with those. Uh, I'm not sure where the Eagle torpedoes are going to come. Yeah, it looks like he he, he avoided those. Uh, he probably has an engine boost as well. Or maybe just my aim was a little bit off because these things are quite quite fast. Uh, Pensacola, there come the Eagle torpedoes. Uh, Pensacola, would you mind... Uh, would you mind doing something about that thing? You know, you're you're in a cruiser. Uh, this is what you, you... You literally have nothing else to shoot at. There's, um, there's even a Congo coming. Anybody? Hello? Team, um, shoot at the destroyer. Yes, the Congo knows what he's doing. He's got the AG loaded. Now, if he just had, if he had hit him, that would be something. But uh, he doesn't. Um, okay, now Pensacola is opening up as well. Okay, so now everyone's everyone's got the hang of it. Uh, I'm not sure if the Eagle is reloaded by now. I mean, I am. But um, once again, at this range, I have no idea if I can even hit that thing. With uh, with you have to be very lucky to hit a maneuvering destroyer with your torpedoes at at anything but point blank range. So. Um, yeah, g given that there's three of us and one of him, I'm gonna drop some torpedoes in case he goes behind the island, but uh, now nah, I think he's just sailing away. So, uh, yeah, we, we should probably stop shooting at this guy. Uh, he's on relatively low hit points, he's not in the capture circle, and um, I have better things to shoot at, like that Andrea Doria over there. So, uh, let, let's hope that we've, since we've got both cruisers around here, that they can make themselves useful. I mean, yeah, the Eagle is still shooting at me. I'm going to put the island between him and myself and just, uh, start unloading at the Andrea Doria. Uh, this should be far enough. So any torpedoes coming out should be a, shouldn't be a problem. And uh, it's burning merrily in its fuel smoke, so I can see where it is. And this is what I, this is. Uh, there come the Eagle Torps. And I don't think I can get actually Torps on that thing. Unless he turns, that would be nice. So maybe he turns in if, see, if he realizes he's been torpedoed or uh, he's been shot at by a smoke screen. Uh, maybe. Yeah, our, our Hermes is, is, is looking um, rather rather aggressive over there. But yeah, I think the Andrea Doria is, is focused in on the on the carrier at this point, so he's not going to be doing anything. So yeah, I'm not sure why we're all clustering around here. What's, what is up with everybody? What are you doing here, people? There, shoot at the Eagle. That thing. Yeah, kill that. Okay, we've lost to Königsberg. Um, uh, see if we can sink the Eagle. And uh, yes, we can. If you want to do something done properly, you do it yourself. Okay, Andrea Doria, let's uh, let's go and rush him as fast as our little engines carry us, which isn't particularly fast. But um, given that he's got a Pensacola to shoot at, he's probably got better things to do than shooting at me. And the carrier is helping out as well, but he's missed. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the Andrea Doria is wisely using the semi armor piercing against this, the Pensacola because the Pensacola does not have the greatest amount of armor. Um, and we've lost the Pensacola, but uh, this is a dead Andrea Doria, so let's get the second torpedo spread somewhere there, because there's a Nuremberg. Uh, that's a bit of an issue though. And there's a full health Andrea Doria on the other side, and our Hermes is going to be very, very dead in a very, very short moment. Yes, he is dead. Okay, um, and uh, I, a minute ago I had a team. <laughs> not sure where it went, but uh, it's three of us left. Uh, and the only two ships that have been killed this game so far, and I have done. <laughs> so, uh, there, there's a Nuremberg. Um, uh, Nuremberg's are problems. So, uh, I am in my smoke screen, but he obviously knows. Um, oh, and there's the Bujoni as well, coming my way. So, uh, let's drop the torpedoes on the Nuremberg. So, you should know that I'm here. But, and then we'll start shooting at the Bujoni. Just to, you know, just to, uh, to misdirect them a little bit. Maybe we can get the torpedoes on the, on the Nuremberg. But yeah, I need to get I need to get the heck out of here. Okay, that's three hits. Oh, four would have done it. Almost, almost got him. So, um, now we're just running. And um, un unfortunately, uh, that Nuremberg's still alive, and the Bujoni is alive, which is a bit of an issue. But the Nuremberg's almost dead, so we just gotta dodge his shots a little bit more, and uh, just use our rear turrets, which unfortunately have dreadful angles, so we do need to give more. Come on, shoot at me. Yeah, he did, he missed. 
And come on, come on, this should be enough before he can reload. Yes, okay, so we got him. So the good news is we've got the Nuremberg. Uh, and that is the third enemy ship that we've killed out of four. Uh, the bad news is, and these don't have range, the bad news is the Galicionier is dead. <laughs> and um, we are only holding uh, one of the capture circles, the one that I captured. So... <laughs> Uh, that's a bit of a problem. Uh, and, and this is sort of where you really run into issues with uh, with the ship because she is not particularly fast. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm actually faster than the stock speed because I have this stock camo on this thing. But uh, I'm relatively far out of the battle by now. And uh, I need to get back into the capture circle. And the Bujoni has killed the Congo. So uh, now it's just me. Uh, which means, given that we are 300 points behind, I would have to kill everybody in a minute. And um, that was last time I checked, that was a full health Budioni and a full health Andrea Doria. And the, ca the carrier is there as well still. So uh, realistically, there is no chance for me to actually win this. Uh, oh, actually, the Budioni has been taking a bit of a beating at the hands of the Congo, I'd say. So let's see if we can, uh, if we can do something about this guy. Now, he knows that I'm here at this point. And yeah, the Andrea Doria is still almost full health. But we we'll drop some torpedoes on his general direction. Uh, unless he sits behind the island and um, well we, we need to do something anyway so we might as well start shooting at this point yeah, he knows that he's on low hit points so he can go in hiding uh, oh actually no he doesn't he comes out and uh, he's trying to kill me but the Andrea Doria is shooting at me and yeah that's semi-ammo piercing there's very little I can do about that and unless the torpedoes hit the Budyoni which I think they didn't uh, no he dodged the, uh, the torpedoes so oh no he <laughs> He got hit by one and he's on no hit points. Oh man, really? And I'm even game, I'm even gonna be donked on by the carrier. And that Andrea Doria is still around, so... Uh, I, I don't think I'm gonna get that Budioni anymore. Come on, he's out of range. And yeah, the Andrea Doria gets get him, so that's that. Anyway, we had lost uh, We had we had lost that one two minutes ago. I was just having fun at the end. Um, yeah, Andrea Doria, good ship. Uh, it's, it's really difficult for destroyers these days with the Italian battleships around, I think. Um, you do have to... You have to watch out what you're doing, and uh, uh, and th this ship might actually, with its range, might actually be relatively well suited towards it still. But uh, yeah, there's only so much you can do. Anyway, um, let's try let's try once more. So this time around, um, we are bottom tier, and it's encounter. Encounter is an unusual battle. I think it's a tier seven map. So because it's a tier seven game, you probably get it. Um, but usually, you see that more in higher tiers. We're up against Saipan, Ugh. Sinop, Nagato, Queen Elizabeth, Duca, Abliska, and Fubuki. Um, not, not a particularly... I mean, that ranger is probably sweating bullets by now. <laughs> I mean, he's playing carry at tier 7. He's probably used to it by now anyway. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's see what the Saipan is capable of. Uh, there is a division of the Saipan, the Duca, and the Bliska. So well, we'll see what happens. Now, uh, me being the only destroyer, and me being a bottom tier destroyer, and me being a relatively slow destroyer as well, obviously, even though it's a Saipan, it's not it doesn't actually have any dive bombers, but um, it still has torpedo bombers. And the bigger problem, obviously, is that, um, uh, you know, Queen Elizabeth or something having high explosive loaded. Ugh, it's always a tr it's always trouble. Uh, Duca is definitely not something I want to see. So I'm just, um, you know, gently, carefully moving forward to see where the scout comes. And there comes the scout. There are the, um, there are the Saipan's fighter planes. And uh, he's actually scouting with both fighter planes, which is quite unusual. I would have just done one, but um, I don't know, I'm a manual carrier player. Maybe he knows something I don't. Okay, and I'm, I'm detected, so I'm sort of trying to fake which direction I'm going to go. Um, but, and I'm hoping to get unspotted again. I'm still spotted. So there has to be something else around, I guess, or the air spot is just is just lasting. So let's poke our nose out here, and up. Uh, yeah, there's definitely something else out there. There's a synop, and um, uh, that is probably. Doesn't Bliska get smoke, uh, or is this the Fubuki? Um, not sure. Anyway, uh, engine boost up. Let's see if we can outrun these torpedoes. But uh, yeah, once again, this thing show, uh, proves that it is slower than it should be. All right, so. Um, Team is lemming training on the other side, except for that one battleship behind me. So our mission, shall we choose to accept, it, is keep that battleship alive. So first things first, smoke up so our battleship can get into the smoke and a couple of torpedoes onto the Synop. We've got the uh, Queen Elizabeth sitting there. But uh, yeah, fo uh, focus on the Synop. Uh, shoot, shoot AP at that thing if you wouldn't mind. Uh, it's better than semi armor piercing. There is a destroyer around here somewhere. But um, can't really do something about that. We, right now, we're just going to have to find a delaying, fight a delaying 
but, uh, retreat against these guys because the rest of my team is pretty much focused on the other side. Uh, fortunately, um, they're not interested in pushing because, well, there's a pretty suspicious smoke screen around here. There's the queen. Uh, smoke's about to dissipate, so it's time to get going again. And uh, we can still open up the distance a little bit more. There's a third battleship coming. What is that? Uh, I can't see it yet, but um, I think that's all their battleships coming down this way. Okay, uh, at least they're... Uh, oh, and the Yuka is dead. That's good to know. Okay, so I got a couple torpedoes on something. Uh, I, I'm just generally sending the torpedoes into that into that postcode over there because there's three battleships coming down this road, and uh, whatever my, the Italian battleship on my side here uh, is 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 running as well. So if I can get them to shoot at me, that would be great. Um, so let's smoke up again, and um, yeah, there's also one of the destroyers out there, and uh, the carrier is helping out. Um, because they, well, while their flank has completely collapsed, we now have to have somehow hold them here and not uh, not get our ranger to die. So smoke up again, and uh, just uh, keep keep dropping the torpedoes. And yeah, that's the Queen Elizabeth, and we should be able to get that thing killed. I think my torpedoes are on track. Uh, yeah, my torpedoes are on track. Okay, no, no reason to shoot at that thing. That thing's dead. So uh, Sinop it is, and yeah, the, the Caracciolo takes him out. Nicely done. So uh, Sinop controls a single fire, and whatever battleship that is behind the Sinop has fortunately decided that um, you know they want to they want to fight us one by one. <laughs> so. Uh, they're once again shooting at my Caracciolo, so Caracciolo is running. Uh, but if I fight, let's see if I can distract them a little bit. Hello! <laughs> Destroyer here, we've got torpedoes, shoot at me, stop shooting at my battleship. And yeah, Synop's turning. Yes, he's turning, yeah. And he's being hammered by the carrier as well. Uh, so I'm just gonna drop some torpedoes in the general direction. And uh, then just concentrate on not dying. So uh, I am running into the map border here, but uh, that Synop is probably relatively dead. And that Nagato behind him. Yeah, and once again, my torpedoes have been foiled. <laughs> Man, it was the second kill that I could have had. Anyway, um, I'm happy with that. Uh, okay, um, while my team is trying uh, to, to, to hammer the enemy cap, we're still fighting a delaying action, but that Nagato has literally just run out of friends. Uh, a minute ago, he, he had a Queen Elizabeth uh, with him and a Synop, and now he does not. So once again, uh, he, I'm trying to get him to shoot at me. I've got the, the engine boost running for what it's worth. I'm still not particularly fast, but uh, uh, come on, shoot at me. Yeah, sh yes, yes, shoot at me, especially when I'm piercing. <laughs> yes, that hurt, but uh, I've got another heal. And every every shot you're taking at me means that my Italian battleship can shoot at you, still using a semi armor piercing. Use the AP against this thing, man. Uh, Nagato is pretty well well armored. Okay, Nagato is fighting is is now fighting the Italian. So in that case, I can uh, I can be a bit more aggressive and just just unload at him. And my torpedoes are once again uh, once again uh, off cooldown. So. Uh, off we go, and the carrier is helping out as well, and the Caracriolo takes him out once more. So, well done! We have literally held... <laughs> we have literally held that flank uh, against three enemy battleships, and they haven't gotten a single kill out of the whole effort. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, with two minutes to go, and it's just the Saipan left. Um, I would say they've won that one. Uh, yeah, you've, you, you've done good. Well well played to our Caracriolo. Uh, I think we've we've, uh, we've sort of had a good division of of labor here with uh, trying to draw fire from each other and um, and just just holding that flank there and the carrier has been helping as well so um, good job all around uh, yeah so this this ship um, a brawler it isn't it uh, it plays a lot more like um, like the Le Terrible just without the speed. Uh, the sort of ship where you where you generally play at long range, and um, if you can get somebody to chase you in a battleship, that's sort of the ideal set because you can be far, you can be really really far away from them, and you can be almost impossible to hit. I mean, I've I've been too aggressive because I ran out of the map here, but uh, in general you can be, especially when they're coming after you, about eight eight to nine kilometers away because they're going to be sailing into your torpedoes and your guns have an almost nine kilometer range. And that is the way to be successful in this ship. Uh, fighting destroyers at close range can be very difficult because of the small amount of torpedoes and uh, the relatively slow reload on the guns. And given that they're only 120s, they're also not doing an awful lot. But um, it, yeah, if, you, if you're relegating yourself to long range duty and um, using your smoke wisely and these sort of things, uh, this is a fun ship actually. So it's definitely not a bad one. And I don't know if this is going to be how the Italian destroyer line is going to look like with the Exploratory, 
or if we are going to get a completely different set, if they're more like the French, uh, shorter range torpedoes, longer, uh, faster ships, I have no idea. But uh, we'll find out. Anyway, uh, this one's a decent one. So um, can can recommend uh, for, for fun plays. Just, just don't just just think just think that you're in a light cruiser because you are it just happens to be misclassified as a destroyer and then uh it becomes a lot clearer on how you're supposed to play that thing that's it for today thanks everybody and i'll see you next time bye bye